<laughs> I know. Uh, right. Um, so I, I'm going to do another stand-up uh, reaction. Haven't done uh, this uh, these for a while. I've been doing a lot of interview type stuff. Um, so I saw this, and this guy, I love this guy. Um, Tim Key has become. Uh, he's not really known as a stand-up, and he sort of doesn't do stand-up from what I've, I've this is the only bit um, I've watched the first bit of this it's the only thing I've seen him do but I understand this is what he does uh, so um, yeah Edinburgh and beyond this is uh, which is always good uh, uploaded by rich writer and uh, yeah well let's just 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 dive the fuck in uh, oh, I had a joke. Uh, Osama bin Pardon. Good, isn't it? Sorry, sorry about that. <clears throat> right, let's dive in to uh, this lovely uh, stuff. He's doing a great job up and down the country in the comedy clubs of Great Britain. Please welcome the poetic stylings of Tim Key. I've got about 600 of these poems. I don't know what that music is in the background, that's weird. I don't know if that's part of the act, I assume it is. Uh, and I like his little, uh, his little um, sling uh, that, that immediately tells you something, doesn't it, about him. See if we can break the back of him. <laughs> some of them are um, autobiographical and some are biographical and some are miscellaneous. This one's all three. Yeah. <laughs> I'm in it, someone else is in it, and something's happening. <laughs> Your arm's shutting into my flank! <laughs> I whispered to my lover. <laughs> so the situation is we're in, we're in bed, I'm just with my lover in bed. Her bed. Oh, F off, Chris. <laughs> she slurred. Still half asleep. I frowned. My name's not Chris. <laughs> just a couple of words just about the arm. I, um, broke my arm. Having sex. with a Geordie. <laughs> it's another poem, this one's a little shorter. I went out with a model, but I found her dull. And also she was one of those fatty models, so not much to look at. <laughs> the situation where, um, me and this um, this girl were having sex, and um, it came to a position where either um, my arm would break, or um, uh, we'd have to stop. <laughs> <laughs> Role models, isn't it? This next one is about a role model. Jeff. 
slapped his ginormous cock <laughs> down on the conveyor belt bit by the till. <laughs> so we're in a, um, we're in a supermarket. <laughs> As to Summerfield. It's one of those situations is the, the obviously his, his dick's out. <laughs> one of those embarrassing um, social situations. <laughs> Jeff's palms went clammy. The cashier blushed. <laughs> Jeff was now 90% sure he'd misheard her. <laughs> <laughs> One of those awkward... <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> well, I tell you, it, it says what he does. <laughs> he... He hauled himself back into his jeans. <laughs> hauled. <laughs> the word hauled, he's hauled himself. Gives you an idea of the... Uh, extent. I mean, for me, hauled, I, I, that, that's with rope. <laughs> with chain, isn't it? Hauled at a harbour. <laughs> if I were hauling, I would expect my hands to uh, cross. <laughs> he hauled himself back into his jeans and handed her his loyalty card. <laughs> I have to say... Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, I did actually eat my uh, a little bit of eye uh, snot there, so sorry. That was absolutely disgusting. Um, but uh, this is great. I mean, it's it's essentially that old saying: comedy don't talk, don't analyse comedy, don't talk about it. And in that sense, you know, he's telling these poems and he's he's revealing, he's talking about the poem while he's reading it. It's brilliant, and it gives you that brilliant sense of um, waiting to see what's going to come next. <laughs> it's just six. So this next one is just um, more of the same, really, another poem. <laughs> it's a bit higher up. <laughs> it uh, investigates the, the thorny issue of plummeting through the air without a parachute. Given away the first line, really, but <laughs> I'll still do it. Chris jumped out of the plane, but he'd forgotten to do checks. His chute wasn't on his back. <laughs> Got this gentleman flying through the air. He texted the pilot. <laughs> Just quick thinking. <laughs> of course, he could have phoned, but presumably had a um, a bundle, text bundle. <laughs> Even at that speed, going towards uh, that ground, obviously. Fleet of mind. <laughs> Throw down my chute. And then a smiley. <laughs> no prizes for guessing which smiley. <laughs> it's the one with the, the only one we can't do actually, the one with the, um, the that sort of one. <laughs> I'll tell you which smiley it isn't, the one with the bloody um, shades. <laughs> I think this is very much a shades off situation. <laughs> But it was a different pilot that day. <laughs> when he got the text, Des texted back immediately explaining this. <laughs> I'll leave you with this one. It's, uh, it's not yet finished, so... I'm taking a bit of a liberty reading it, really. But... <clears throat> Jeff gritted...
a good start. Um, see, I, I have it. I know, I know what sort of. I can visualise it. But I'm, I'm completely aware it's not the finished article. <laughs> For a start, we don't. Know, I, I don't even know whether he's gritting, as in his teeth, or whether he works. Um, <laughs> for the council and it's winter, so there's none <laughs> So I'll get back to that one, but thank you for listening to the other poems. Thank you. <laughs> oh! Very, very, very good. Uh, yeah, Tim Key, excellent. Um, I'm a big fan of, well, I'm a big fan of anything that challenges the uh, the normal stereotype of stand up uh, it's very difficult uh, to come up with a new idea of course because uh, well <clears throat> one of the things about stand up is that most people do the same thing uh, and I think I've said this in another video but it probably bears repeating I went to see some some uh, free stand up uh, a while ago uh, this is the last time I went to see something, some stand-up live, and um, I have to say it was a bit disappointing. Um, there were four acts, and some of them obviously were funny, some of them were less funny. Uh, no surprises there. Uh, but um, they were all pretty much the same. Uh, they all came out, and it was like, hi, I'm so-and-so, I'm from whatever, Spain. And then they do an act where they sort of talk about being very Spanish or they come out and they say, oh, I'm, uh, I, I'm, I love sex. And then they just talk about lots of different situations where they had sex and how, you know, it's, uh, it's just this thing of very simple stand up strategy, isn't it? Uh, which I guess most comics to some extent do uh, of you know you sort of you create a character which is sort of you and you over exaggerate it uh, for comic effect and uh, it's good but it's uh, it's just done over and over and over again which is why people like well Jimmy Carr uh, is very different because he sort of just tells gags and uh, Stuart Lee of course is different because he's just amazing uh and but he he deconstructs sort of comedy uh very much in his act uh but most you know most comedians sort of follow that pattern but this is great uh you know reading out stuff uh is always interesting i quite like steve coogan i saw him live years ago uh and he did a pauline calf thing where she the character had written a book and of course it was crap uh, and he read out a passage from the book yeah, that was very funny um, I did something myself years ago I mean I haven't done much stand-up but I wrote a story I should try and find it uh, it was a sort of it was a pastiche of an Enid Blyton uh, thing and it started out very nice you know all about being the characters were down by the sea with Uncle Colin, I think it was, uh, and um, and then it went, it ended up with a sort of, uh, they were attacked by a sniper and, and stuff. Uh, so, you know, that, that, and that went down quite well, actually. Um, so, there you go, that, those are my thoughts, yeah, breaking the mould of, uh, of comedic uh, um, vertical, um, talking you know or stand up as uh, many people call it um, excellent thank you thanks for watching please do like subscribe uh, my channel's doing quite well I had a few new subscribers recently thank you very much if you have subscribed if you haven't please help me out I am I don't know why I'm revolving my head like this but I am now officially about to medically retire uh, because can't breathe and I've got long COVID. Uh, I obviously can breathe all right until I walk. It's a bit of a pain. Uh, but uh, I'm very pleased to be retiring. But of course, 
a bit of extra cash from uh, YouTube would be quite welcome. Let's see what you can do for me. Yeah, see if you can help me out, your uncle, your uncle blind tube man. Anyway, uh, that's enough of me waffling on. Don't nobody go nowhere. See you next time.